Hi everyone, hope you're all well. Welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Cancer for September 2021. This can resonate with your Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus sign. If the reading resonates, then that's great. Or if there's parts of the message that resonate, then that's cool. Um, if the reading doesn't resonate, then it's just simply not your message. So just please use your own discernment and take what fits and leave the rest. Okay. So I could be reading for either for yourself or for your kind of love interest, the person that's on your mind, etc. So just take the roles and flip them to however is best for you or however you feel is sees fits for yourself, etc. That type of thing. <laughs> um, getting a little bit tongue tied. So potentially somebody may be feeling a little bit um, unsure about how they're going to come across to someone. But yeah, let's see. Let's see what the cards have got in store for us anyway. So this is the Radiant Rider Waite tarot deck today, and I will be using oracle cards later on and some love messages. I'll be letting you know what those decks are um, later on in the reading. Okay. So for Cancer, please for September 2021, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. What have we got for Cancer, please? Oh, okay. So we have Scorpio energy with death. We have the Nine of Wands in reverse. Okay, so we have the Nine of Cups. There's two nines here. We have the Five of Swords. Can't take all that. Three of Cups. Oh, interesting. Queen of Cups. Two more, please. Two of Swords. And one more. What was that? Ace of Cups in reverse. So potentially someone's feeling a little bit fearful of showing some sort of emotion. feeling relatively insecure with the lovers in reverse and we have the four of pentacles upright so i will take those bottom of the deck we have the hierophant interesting okay with the emperor what <laughs> okay with the knight of pentacles in reverse seven of cups wheel of fortune okay i thought there was with the four of ones wow okay so i'll definitely be talking about that so the signs we have here on the table, so you could be dealing with um, a Taurus, an Aries, um, Scorpio here with the Death card, a Gemini here with the Lovers in reverse. Could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Four of Pentacles. Or also an Aries Leo Sagittarius energy with the Nine of Wands in reverse. A Cancer Scorpio Pisces with the Three of Cups, Queen of Cups, Seven of Cups. Or potentially a Gemini Libra Aquarius energy with the Two of Swords and the Five of Swords. Or one of the fixed signs potentially here with the um, Wheel of Fortune. So we have the Aquarius energy, the Taurus energy, the Scorpio and the Leo. Okay, so any of those signs, either you or someone that you're dealing with has them in their chart. Okay. <clears throat> so, first of all, what I'm seeing is they're gonna, there's going to be a very sudden change or transformation to do with a connection of sorts. We have these two nines here, and then obviously with this death card, there's going to be a rebirth of sorts. Somebody is letting go of a particular situation, and then they're going to allow themselves to let go of it in order to bring out something brand new, to rebirth something, to transform a situation. And it's time to let go of something in order to move on, release it and potentially get relief from an old situation and then to eventually start on to something brand new. OK, so either you or your person could be dealing with a... Um, a Gemini at the moment potentially or an earth sign doesn't necessarily have to be or an air sign any of the signs really 
Um, if there is a third party situation, that would be coming to an end. It's coming to a close of sorts. Potentially, there has been someone's been holding on to a particular connection. Maybe they've been holding on to it, looking like everything is kind of great and happy um, behind closed doors. But potentially what you do not know is that there's just loads of arguments, um, conflict, a lot of drama, potentially even jealousy I'm getting. So either you or someone that you're dealing with, I'm getting a sense like this is you here with this Queen of Cups energy. Like you have decided to um, put a lot of love and self-care into yourself and you know you're coming across as this really beautiful um, sensitive caring person you know very empathetic very intuitive and you're, you've put this kind of love into yourself potentially you may have been at crossroads to do with this particular connection and may have felt relatively tired from it but because you focused on yourself you have let go of something in order to bring in something new for yourself and this in turn is allowing you potentially if you have gone through a difficult time or a painful time you're going to be healing um, healing that aspect of yourself and potentially being much more openly available and ready for love um, there may have been a period of time either you or your person um, were very stuck in a situation and potentially like if, if this is you and you were realising that potentially somebody else may have dragged you in a third party situation, potentially if they had lied to you or deceived you in a particular way, or there was just kind of a lot of mess, I'm getting this sense that potentially you were seeing the truth for what it was and potentially you decided to kind of pull back, decided that it was just too tiring and end up putting all of your energy into gathering this emotional fulfillment for yourself like working on your own personal development and just allowing yourself to feel so much more uplifted in your kind of everyday life because you've decided to pull yourself back because things got too tiresome here you know i'm getting this sense of like um there may have been a period of time for a while where either you or someone you're dealing with has been very um wounded from previous relationships it kind of really bogged you down or bogged them down and it's now having this decision to put all this extra beautiful love into yourself and move yourself forward potentially like if you there was a, a partner of interest like there was someone and if they had put you in a third party situation I'm getting the sense that you are very faithful, very loyal to this particular person and they may not necessarily have reciprocated that particular um, loyalty or kindness I'm getting. And if they are in a third party situation and dealing with someone else, I'm getting the sense that they're just kind of receiving all this particular um, karma, karma and drama I'm getting um, with whatever decision it is that they have made. Um, but I'm getting the sense that this person will eventually break up from this other situation and have a separation. And they may have been at ties trying to figure out what it is that they want. Um, and particularly reluctant to make a choice if there has been two partners. So they may have made, um, were, had a position where there was you and someone else and they, they had a choice to make. But now they've made a choice. And I feel like they, they've made the choice to be able to come forward towards you. And potentially they may be wanting to keep a secret. If they, if they haven't fully broken up or separated from this other person, if they are dealing with someone else, they're trying to keep it secret that their actual intention is to come forward towards you and potentially have a higher level of commitment here with the Hierophant and the Emperor. Like somebody really wanting to take charge and to kind of establish some, something a bit more um, like of a, a traditional commitment potentially with you. And I'm getting the sense that eventually they would want to show you that they are loyal to you. But there seems a lot of, um, there may have been quite a bit of confusion to do with a particular relationship. You know, you may recognise that you and this person may have a, um, a soulmate connection potentially but I'm just feeling 
you may be a little bit hesitant as to whether you can kind of trust this until someone has able to kind of take the mask off fully to let you know that actually have they changed have they transformed themselves have they done what is absolutely necessary to be able to put you as a priority because they love you've given them they haven't given that back and potentially that's something that they may have seen previously this person um either you or them were stuck in a lot of confusion for quite some time and potentially this person if they were to come back around like they may be tempted to kind of rush back in um but i'm just feeling this sense that you will not want that like you will want to take a massive step back and potentially retreat your energy until you know for definite that you're going to receive this particular loyalty i'm getting um and to make sure that this person isn't necessarily going to be unfaithful to you um if you and them were to be together but i'm getting the sense that potentially there are there is going to be a change around or a turnaround to do with the connection you may live at a distance from each other. This person may have been very much up in their head about whether to come forward towards you, but I'm getting this overall sense that for you, regardless of whether it is with this person or whether it's with someone else, if there is a new love that was wanting to come in, you're just kind of ready to be able to have some sort of um, stability and feel safe and secure in a, a committed relationship and potentially even have a family. Um, if not, then either that you're kind of just wanting to be able to enjoy your single life without all the drama. So these are the messages that I have for you. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull from the Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue. And this is just to give a little bit of extra clarity on the reading. So uh, here we are, the Romance Angels. But this is the thing, like you have, like you, you had pure motives and potentially if you had been dealing with someone else who was in a, in a third party, that person either to the partner that they're, they're with or kind of have this situation ship with or either with you, they may not necessarily have been very um, open to showing what their feelings are. They may have had some sort of um, secrets. And potentially they may have either like deceived you or deceived someone else in another way. Either that or this person is trying to come up with brand new ways in order to come forward to communicate with you after a potential separation. Um, and they may have realised that they made a bad choice and they're going through something else. Look at that straight out. Look at this, we have children. Your love life is being affected by children. So potentially if they are in another relationship or situation, they could have um, children with this person or either that or you have children. Retreat and it came out reverse. It's time to disconnect from the world. This person doesn't want to retreat from you. They don't wanna be held back anymore. They wanna come forward towards you because they have these particular romantic feelings. Um, you, yeah. Look at this, we have passion. And it kind of came out sideways. So you know potentially there is passion there between you, but it's not allow you're not allowing yourself to be fully open and available to this person and to have this kind of openness of passion between you because there just seems to be some sort of block in the way. Um, and let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. So this this person may want to come back to try to control the whole situation with you and to make things right but potentially you know it's it's like making sure that everything works out the way that it's meant to work out when it's ready to honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together potentially they it's like they want to go away with you um but I'm also getting the sense that you may be a little bit hesitant to show this passion or this love back or either that or the other way around, however it resonates, because potentially it's like, well, is there genuinely love there? You know, potentially I know that we could be soulmates, etc. But, you know, is it just going to be the honeymoon period in a relationship or is it actually going to be something deeper than that? 
you deserve love, you are lovable. So you're having this um, realization that you are absolutely worthy of love and you are moving yourself forward by taking that extra care of yourself, gaining that kind of um, sense of trusting yourself that whatever it is that you're doing is, is gonna be right and beneficial for you. Um, religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual past. So potentially that could be an indicator in your relationship. It doesn't necessarily have to be. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull from the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards, just to get some extra messages for you. So what we've got for cancer, please. For September 2021. Now I have also recently done um, bonus readings for love for August. Um, I have only put them out a couple of days ago because um, I've had just a lot on my plate but you guys were in the top three so there is going to be a link. Um, I'll kind of link up the, the August video for you as well. So that you can see that, if that potentially could resonate for you as well, if that you get some extra messages from that. Okay, so what can we get for cancer, please, for September? Okay, Grim Reaper, the relationship is over, no second chances, grow and transform your life. Potentially you may just decide to end whatever the situation is and focus on yourself, or someone is dealing with somebody else or something else and that there's no second chance with this other situation and they're letting that go yeah hammer sabotage rebuilding interrogation repetitive persistent working on it so either you or someone is trying to um they're sabotaging another situation potentially to rebuild with you because they miss you and they want to build up something but maybe you may feel like it's, oh, it's a bit too late. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Look, heart with a key and love call. They want to show to you that they have strong feelings for you, that they want to express their love, that they are thinking of you. And that's why they don't want to pull away from you. Potentially, they, um, they're realizing that they can't stay in another situation and just try and rebuild on that other connection for the sake of, because of the children, that there has to be kind of love and emotional connection. Look at this, oh my gosh. Engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion and union. Like my throat just closed up then. <clears throat> so bear with us while well, I a quick sip of my drink, sorry. Oh, thank you, sorry about that. Um, my throat just completely closed up. Like this is genuinely what this person wants to do and they wanna have a commitment with you, but you might just be like, not today, because you may have set very strong boundaries with this person if things haven't necessarily been open and very clear from the get-go. Um, so you may just be a little bit unsure. Yeah, sudden change, lightning, um, shocking news, surprise. This will be a very surprise, this call coming out of the blue. You won't be expecting it. Healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. So they potentially may call you to say to you, look, you know, engagement ring and then honeymoon. Um, <laughs> they want to take you away. They, you know, maybe you might even do like a staycation or something. So you can't go anywhere abroad, but potentially they want to come forward towards you. Look at this healing heart, heartbroken and kisses. They're heartbroken without you. And they know that you've been focusing on yourself because potentially they may have broken your heart. Look at that, kisses. And then what wanted to show up, wedding rings. That just was falling out. So they definitely have the intention to have something so much more with you. Um, but they potentially may not have shown it. They may not necessarily have shown it previously. Um, but they're going to come forward eventually to let you know that something else is not necessarily working out anymore because they don't want to be um, away from you, I'm getting. But obviously, please only take and leave what resonates for you guys. Okay, so lastly, I'm just going to pull from the Soulmates and Separation Unspoken Love Messages by the Serendipity Tarot. Um, I thought this was a really lovely deck of cards. I found it on Etsy. 
so I thought I might as well use them. So what messages can we get for Cancer, please, for September 2021? One more. Okay. What can we get for Cancer? What do either you want to say to them or what do they want to say to you? I listened to the wrong people. They were wrong about you. Okay. Interesting. So maybe there was lots of arguments with another another person or other people, lots of external influences, and they just kind of may have listened to some bad advice. Hurting you hurt me even more. So yeah, they, they do have regret potentially with if they haven't necessarily treated you back with the best of intentions the way that um the, the way that you treated them. I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions. It's probably something that's very difficult for this person. Um, oh, look at this. You made me see a side of me that I've grown to hate. So potentially with that kind of mirror that we saw earlier, um, with this kind of pure love that you had shown and given onto this person and the fact that they didn't necessarily show that to you, and potentially if they've had, you know, um, other people treating them the way they treated you and they've seen that and now they're recognising what that is and they've really decided they do not like that about themselves. And then I am damaged and not deserving of your love. So potentially, especially with this kind of Queen of Cups energy that you gave out, this loving, nurturing, very compassionate, um, faithful honesty that you may have given out to this person and they just didn't necessarily give that back my heart was blocked i was not available to, to receive your love when you gave it wow so yeah they just were blocked off with their with their love they just didn't know what to do hurting you hurt me even more and that's so funny because obviously i've already shown you that message because that was what was at the bottom of the deck and lastly, I hope we can come back together and pick up where we left off. So they have a lot of hope that you guys will eventually be able to come back together. And then I just broke up the deck and we have, I hope you will find forgiveness in your heart for me. So this is what they're hoping for. But obviously it's all down to you and what kind of decision that it is that you decide to make about yourself, about your life and how you move on forward. Um, but potentially this person is fearful that you may have, you may move on or you have already moved on to someone else. Okay. So anyway, that's the end of the reading. I really hope that you guys enjoyed and hope that it resonated. If, um, if you did enjoy, please like, share and subscribe. Leave us a comment. I greatly appreciate it. And we'll hopefully see you guys uh, next time. So please take care. Bye for now.